He's a shady character. What's his name? Oh, wait now. I've got his card here. Yeah, I got it in my pocket. Now let me see. Oh, yeah, here it is. Eat longer. Indeed, and aloha, meatheads. Welcome back to the kitchen where you've got reserve seating for a reheating of the leftovers. Wait, no, yeah! And this version of the leftovers is dedicated to all the moron modes out there, but we're going to focus upon... What the hell is supposed to do, you moron? Gravity Games, one of the most popular ones out there, and I do quite enjoy it for when the noob storm is heavy. We are going to feature two tanks primarily. Here is a Crisis from the Triari clan using that gun. It ain't all about ramming. On the 168.01, one of my favorites for this mode, all the super heavies come out. And you need to know how to shoot and position yourself for the rams as well. And my favorite vehicle, only for this mode, the T28 Defender. Aerial ramming needed. But let's head on out with our salty chef as he cooks it up. Heading over for a salty snack on Ghost Factory. Here it is, the T28 Defender. Again, as I mentioned, probably my favorite for this mode. Not only can you ram, but you can deal quite the heavy hit, although no, not quite as accurate as the 168.01. Um, I still do enjoy this one. And I'm looking at the uh, enemy lineup. They have uh, more super heavies than my wife's family, so I decide I'm not going to hang out on low ground and give that advantage to them for ramming. I'm going to go aerial, but as my iPad is 100% charged, the grounding goes a little goofy, and I can't <laughs> get my jumping going correctly. If only I didn't have so much crunk in my badunk and dunk. I'm sure that happens to everybody out there where you're hitting the controls and nothing's happening, but I'm just waiting for the uh, jumpy boost to uh, reload there on the bottom right, and off I go up again. Still focused on getting to high ground and putting some hurt in on the red newbies. And I see this uh, lightweight getting set up, and I'm going to go pay him a little visit. But he just thinks, hey, why not have it done twice? He likes repetition. I'll send him sailing halfway across the map. I'm going to use this uh, opportunity here to uh, keep out of the view of the super heavies as they are circling around and to reload. And another good spot I'll show in just a second for shooting across the map and getting set up is behind me by this tiny little box on the roof. It makes for good cover and you get good shots and you can quickly withdraw from uh, enemy fire here. Well, I can't get a shot in on this guy, so I'm just going to go up to this spot. You have to be careful because you can fall through these holes on the roof. So I'm spanning that gap there, and I'm going to use the little reinforcement bar to not fall down. Team is falling apart, unfortunately, and I'm going to try to get a shot on this super heavy down below. Ah, LTTB coming in hot. <laughs> Takes his own fool self out. He's upset about that. And I did not let the reticle settle enough to get that uh, initial shot in. But I'll get these ones here. And then immediately withdraw. And get some cover and reload. Um, map knowledge is always important in this game. And even more so in gravity mode. You need to know all the weird places too. Like this. And as this uh, blaze is up here. I move here where you can't shoot me. I get high, uh, tight to the wall. And signal for the AMX to shoot him. Which he does. And it's just myself and the AMX. And the AMX has been playing it really well. But he... I don't know what he is thinking here. Once cap starts. He rushes in to decap it. Uh, for no reason and plays this just really poorly. Doing great up until then, though. So they're going to cap because they can't jump up here, which was kind of the point, is to be able to pick these guys off slowly. I'm going to try to get the lightweight, as I showed in the intro. Land on him, but nope. Shoot him. Well, say, what Too fast. To do, boy? Trap is he trying to lure me into something? All the way to the top, yeah. 
Yeah. Gonna go up and get him. But don't look to the sides, look straight up. Cause I'm right on top. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Bit of aerial acrobatics to put this guy away. Gonna see more of that in the upcoming replays. But now the AMX makes his really moronic play. I don't get this at all. Charging right in the center of him. Man, Whew. those people are moron, and I feel sorry for them. Yeah, man, that was a sorry move. I don't know which of these three guys has the greatest amount of cap points. Uh, put my armor right there. It, it does make me lose the shot. I gotta see if it's a super heavy here as I'm loading the APCR. Shoot him right in the face. Oh, we now know it's obviously the last 168. And as the points are ticking and I have a reload that's really long, I need to load HE and get this guy. Just take the damage. Because he's a little bit stupid. Retreat, wave my barrel around. Ooh, yeah. yeah, block a nice HE shot with the barrel of the gun. And reload up on the roof again in case they push me. Have some time to think. Lots of time left. 30 seconds on the clock. I'm going to come from a different angle so it's not super predictable. They can't just pre-aim on me. I don't know how they think they can win this by cap, but hey, fine with me. Uh, they should have charged in um, two or three v one, but hey, fine. Um, Blaze looking through right there. Uh -huh. Love it in gravity mode when the game tries to launch people in the air, but they're under something. A little hop, skip, and dance for me. Why not do it again? Sure, Blaze, bring it on, brother. Hope you like that. He's now one shot. Um, gonna move in. See if I can get a derp in on the super heavy. He's firing HE. Not really sure why. <laughs> why just shoot HE? Um, anyway, probably a newer player. Fine. So game is looking very winnable. I got about two thirds of my HP. I'm not sure how a nothing plan is gonna win. Two nothings is nothing. That's mathematics, son. You can argue with me, but you can't argue with figures. Two half nothings is a whole nothing. And these two half nothings seem to just want to cap it out instead of doing anything productive. Pay attention to the blaze in this exchange. I think he thinks it's a repeat of the uh, first exchange when all three were capping. Uh, he's going to fire HE at me for some odd reason. Uh, nice flat side, thanks. And I withhold my shot intentionally to avoid the deflection like before will be no factor yeah so i think he thinks i fired uh, i could not get that in and i do have this one extra shell but he's super that obvious as subtle as a hand grenade in a barrel of old charging gold. in Where did it go, George? Where did it go? thanks buddy really appreciate it and now the super heavy's decided to charge in nice bounce I'm here to win it. He's gonna try to ram me. I see he's coming. <laughs> APCR for the win. Yeah. <laughs> ah man, I mean, if those three guys had just three v one me and ram me and attack, they probably would have won. But uh, sitting it out allows me to get the four kills, four guys damaged, and nearly four k in um, damage overall, with a bunch of nice medals for all of my efforts leading the team to that win. And there's the four guys. So basically, the three on cap and taking out that lightweight. Let's move on over now. Up to Mayan Ruins we go, and this map, you really have to have good map knowledge to succeed here. Uh, if any map, <laughs> this is the one where it's the most true and trebly true. In Gravity Goons mode, because uh, you can get up there on all of these temples and in the corners and snipe, and you'll see TDs and Sheridans and lots of people doing that. And I'm just sending them a little message. Free hugs are available, and I do have some takers on the red team and i'm always happy to share the love but just remember map knowledge learn the 3d map knowledge up high he wants a hug okay and i'm going to continue to share this warmth and love by uh, warming up another td who also needs a bit of a snuggle says he burns with fire 
So as you can see, he's trying to use this as a purge I from which to snipe. Got. I'm gonna give him a little more attention. <laughs> One of the things about jumping around, it's very easy to get stuck, which always makes me panic a little bit. You'll see here, I get a little bit wedged here. I wanna get my armor down and flat and angled. Okay, those guys are engaged behind me. You'll see the reds start swarming. Bulldog is unaware hey, of what he's doing. Come on over here. Let's have a look at you. Another little free hug. Managed to bounce that shot off him or from him. And I missed this one, but give him a squish. Free hugs. Always available. Okay, this guy is a real zero, that's true. Barely got in the game, got wrecked, but my team is falling apart. Only three of us, and it'll be down to two of us left. And I can see we're getting surrounded, or I am surrounded. I've got reds everywhere. And I do get a good bit of luck here. It totally changed the game for me. This uh, FV301 wants to have a private chat. But this all works out in my Let's favor. And instead of engaging, he runs away. And this opens up the path for me to go up to one of these temples. And I need a place where I can control access and people not firing on me all at once. My best chance is up here, this one. Up I go. And I gotta get my armor flat and get situated again before getting shot or HE'd in the deck. Managed to pull it off. There is a bit of a bug in the replay. I recorded this replay five times, but it's embedded in there. I do manage to hit this guy, you'll see it. So, it was uh, completely clean and, and during the game. I decide to reload, because I think I'm gonna have the time to do so before anyone threatens engagement with me, but the Yag Tiger goes up and I calculate, well, I'm reloading 14 seconds. I know I'm gonna kill him now. This time, son. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did not expect to have him on top of me for that long. I lost more HP than I thought, but I call out next. Please send more reds. I'm fully loaded. And yeah, I lost a bit more HP than I wanted, but that's okay. It is now me V3. And I'm not quite done with the snuggling this on this guy. Cool. This is stupid, you know. This is between me and these two bullshit guys. All right, so he's put away. Two guys left. One is capping. I signal next. Please send them one at a time. Uh, we even got four guys. Just four guys rushing me, but nope. Now I'm trying to wiggle, angle my armor, swivel around, and not get shot. Yeah, got the lucky bounce. And this poor guy, he tries to jump out of the way, but he hits a ridge or a ledge here. Screws him up. Isn't that a baby? Poor guy. Oh, well. <laughs> he gets a nice AP right to the chest. And I love the chat message now that's going to come in even though no damage. Nice bounce. I'm going to return upwards to maintain control. <laughs> Read the chat. Indeed. Fine. RNG. Now here's when you can't get your armor down flat fast enough. He's got two shots. Good for him. However, he's overconfident. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Even though I do have the RNG of a god. Poor 301 does not. One down, one to go. Alright, so I, I know he's gonna go back to cap. Um, and I'm just on the hunt. I can take this guy down. Now this bush um, that I use, I'm doing this on purpose. I'm making him think I'm going this way just to throw him off. And as I drop off of the map, I'm repositioning. I do this quite often in games where I'll head in one direction to throw him off. But this has excellent camouflage. These two bushes, the one here and on the other side. So you can use them to your advantage whenever you can. Trying for the top hatch, don't get it. And, well, let's see if I can just, yeah, drop an APCR there, reload. I'm just going to hang here. I beg for more. Get this last gonna one. Smash this guy. It's, it's my plan. Definitely going to smash. Make him think I'm going to come out from that bush again. Um, I have this turret in the way. I got to be careful. 
Oh, nice shot, but dude, wrong play here. Maybe PCR loaded up. All right, hey, that was a, a fun one with lots of jumping around. <laughs> Pretty much everything except ram killing, except letting that Yag Tiger land on me. We move up to five destroyed and 5k damage. And five touched and smacked around, so from all fours to all fives pretty much. Uh, got some fire set, as you saw, and leading that team with authority to the win. And now we're going to look at the 168.01 up on middle turd. Again, the quintessential map for separating the noobs from the skilled. I let him know town is for clowns. In this mode, town makes a lot more sense, especially if you have a whole bunch of super heavies. But I still want to do town, uh, hill, and I can also use the uh, the gravity of uh, the hill to increase my speed for ramming. So I still like to come up here and not just get boxed in, in town and ram to death. So the difference is, yes, uh, ramming is far more effective with this vehicle than the T-28 Defender. And the gun is more accurate. Nice bounce. Knew that guy was going to push out there, so obvious. And now we have super heavy approach, so I'm signaling, let's get this guy. Free hugs, once again available. Please send your lights and mediums. Wiggling around, bounce the shot, managed to sink one into him. Signaling, let's get this guy. Leva understands the plan. And we'll get assist from our other super heavy. Nice flat side, thank you so much. Using the gun, using the girth, the big booty. He does stop me with the shot. And we're gonna tag on this guy. <laughs> yeah, wow. So, two super heavies and a heavy taking him down with a nice uh, ram and shot. Nice to see teamwork and play. Thank you so much. And now in town, the remaining five clowns. Speaking of clowns, what do you think of this camo? <laughs> I, I mean, I think this tank sucks and I only use it in gravity mode. However, it is accurate, but it is the big circus elephant, so why not use a free camo to properly portray this vehicle in all of its wide hip glory. So I'm going to focus on the RHM. I think he can cause me the most trouble. Got the HE loaded, rolling tough on him, ignore his partner, and get a nice fortunate hit. Bugs out, sends him into the building. I'm just making sure he's trapped in there. Yes, he is. No way out. I can ignore him for the rest of the game. Fantastic for us. And going to try to get this uh, CDA MX out of here. Just miss him. And notice how I don't turn around. Be sure you learn how to drive backwards because I'm nearly as fast. And now I'm trying to use, as you've seen in this game, some HE in the butt. Nice. But now I'm trying to use both the girth and the gun at the same time. You can't just roll around only ramming people. And here I noticed the 168 is AFK, quite surprisingly. So I'm gonna whittle his hit points down while the red team settles in for what they're gonna try to do. Unfortunately, not reloaded in time to take out the FV-301. Thought I could get him before he disappeared on the buildings, no. But I'm gonna focus on that uh, one-shot chieftain up there. I think it's a chieftain I saw. Okay, managed to bounce the TD. I'm gonna go after him, but he decides to clear out. Well, when you, I say when you gotta go, you gotta chieftain go. Chieftain it is, one shot, APCR loaded up. I'll say hello. Things looking a bit yeah. better for the team. That's at this point. Ooh, hit him so hard I owe him alimony. <laughs> Let him know. I noticed that we have an AFK, which I didn't know that we were doing 6v6. And also remember now the RHM is stuck in the building. So the advantage is to us, although they cleared out our other super heavy, it was helpful up top. Nice shot in the FV301. 
see if I can clear out either of these guys. Urging the, the remaining guy to attack. Let's see, he's a bit of a potato. CDA. Taken out and put down. Gonna go after the FV. Full bore charging attack. Gun not reloaded yet. I'm going to smash this guy. What a thrill. Is that something? Oh, yes indeed. Hugged. Another recipient of the Meat Locker Heavy Industries limited time, but unlimited amount offer for hugs. So we have the RHM stuck in the building, and we have this 168. I actually should have shot him first before ramming, but I've been bouncing a lot lately, so... I thought I could clear him for sure the shot landed. Ugh. So I'm going to clear him, and then cap. Oh! You are the leading asshole in the oh, state. hell no. Hell no. You did not do So that. our quote-unquote friendly RHM decided to just sit there and snipe and take, steal that kill. And I'm saying, hey, capture the base and just watch the chat. I implore him, please, just come cap. We know we have an AFK. And I'd say, I mentioned how I shot the RHM into the building. Just leave him, come and cap. Let's get the clock going. It's going to be super tight, but he decides to go mess around and see if he can blast the RHM through solid walls, which you can do sometimes with the HE, but poor RHM jumping up and down, trying to get out of there. <laughs> I've been doing that for the past three minutes. Poor guy. Um, anyway, capping it out, hoping for the win, hoping to not have a heartbreak. Come on, look at my camo. I am the happiest clown in town and trying to get my other clown mate to come over here come on dude pull head out stop goofing around look at that clock within two seconds you'll notice that the timers aren't exactly right it seems like uh base capture is faster than one second but it's because i have the uh level seven a base capture superpower whatever that's called the crew train you see there at the bottom of my health with the green capture reload looking symbol on the right that's what saved the day in this game this guy is still trying to get his shot manages to get one bravo and just under the wire with three seconds left oh <laughs> get the win what a weird and crazy game that was well, now getting over 5k damage and four destroyed along with the full real deal smorgasbord. Seven reds touched, smacked around, hit, damaged, a little bit of something for everybody on the table. In Gravity Games, Moron Mode. Oh, there's our HM. What a potato. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any ramming tips, please share them below. Um, great of you guys to keep tuning in and watching stuff on the channel. Not taking it as seriously as before because each game takes about six hours of editing. It's just way too much time. But the most important thing, when you find yourself out there on the battlefield, always remember, keep it salty, Pendejos. Oh, yeah!